One more, Vikings and the Saints Sunday night football. We'll call it 52 is the total. The game priced pick them. You can actually find plus one for either side as we record uh, right now you know, between the Vikings and the Saints. And of course, you know, Minnesota, the last two weeks has looked the Super Bowl contender. The offense has gotten going. They've been able to run the football even without Dalvin Cook. And the defense has really taken over both of those contests. Of course, they faced a, they faced a rookie quarterback last week. They faced a rookie quarterback the week before. Now they're facing Drew Brees with playoff revenge off a miracle win for Minnesota. And Brees, by the way, 13 touchdowns, zero interceptions so far this season, completing 77% of his passes. Sure, he's due for an off game. Drew Brees isn't having off games right now. Uh, even if Everson Griffin gets back in the lineup for the Vikings, and he could, and Griffin is an absolute difference maker. I've heard people tell me that Dalvin Cook injury matters. Everson Griffin matters more to the Minnesota than Dalvin. Well, I don't know. Dalvin Cook can hit big plays, but I'm a believer in Everson Griffin and having uh, being an impact player. Don't know for sure that he is going to be in the lineup. He was back practicing uh, this week after, uh, what do we call it, a mental health breakdown uh, earlier in the season. If he plays, in my mind, that is an impactful return from injury for Minnesota, which could matter. Uh, that being said, it's hard to step in front of the Saints right now. You know, 13-5, and five, their last 18 tries as a dog. Uh, the Saints' run defense, this is one that stood out to me. Saints' run defense only giving up 3.1 yards per carry. That's nearly a full yard better than Minnesota, close to four yards a carry that the Vikings have allowed uh, on the ground. And, of course, the Saints, with that balance on offense, makes Breeze that much more effective. But from a defensive standpoint, I'm not sold. I don't know if I'm sold on Minnesota. Uh, sorry, on, on New Orleans as being having a defense that's of Minnesota's caliber, even though the Vikings have faced a weak defense over the last, or weak quarterbacks over the last two uh, two ball games. Looking good. I don't know. This is You know what this game is? This game is a flat, I don't know. I'm excited to watch it. I do not expect to have a wager on it. Certainly not at the current number. I can make a case for the over here. Um, and that might be the way to look in this Sunday night TV affair. But if you hear me blathering <laughs> about the side, I've gone back and forth on this one. And when I go back and forth on a game, you know what I do? I leave it alone and wait for another betting opportunity. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment. Share and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.